Hello, you wonderful people out there. Welcome back to another video. Today, we want to talk to you all about the secret that helped us get over 3 million views on our channel to date. Beautiful, That's, right? Right. And you know what's really funny? It's not so much of a secret as it's more of an underutilized tactic. Correct. or an underutilized tool. And those are keywords. Focusing on keywords has been the secret sauce that has helped us to rank in search. And the proof is in the numbers, which we will pop up right here. But our top driver of views for our channel is keywords via search. Yes. So today we want to break down what keywords are, how they work and what tools you can use to make sure that you are helping your videos rank higher so that you can get more views. So what are keywords? So keywords are essentially words or phrases, like a series of words that people are searching for specifically via search engines like Google or YouTube. Keywords essentially are the topic that people are looking for and they're found all throughout your YouTube videos, predominantly in the title and the description, the tags, not to mention in the thumbnails. For example, some of the ones that we've used here on High Season a few times, Instagram Reels mistakes, that's something that people search for quite a bit and there's someone of our higher ranked videos. Also new Instagram updates. That's something that, you know, whenever we drop an Instagram update video, they always do really well because people want to know about it. And it's summarized in this quick, easy to find video and easy to comprehend video. So that is a, a series of keywords that people look for regularly. And therefore, because we have optimized our videos for those keywords, they rank for those searches. So tags, a lot of people will get keywords and tags confused. So the funny thing is that all tags are keywords, but not all keywords are tags, if you know what I'm saying. So essentially tags are, there's like a box down the bottom in the back end of YouTube when you're uploading your video. And you can put a series of single words or phrases into that, you got up to 500 characters and they kind of work in the same way that funnily enough, it was called keywords on Google and SEO back in the day. I'm not too sure because I'm not in that world anymore, but they ended up being deranked due to people hacking them and using black hat tactics on them, which is a little shady. So they made them not really have as much impact. So here on YouTube, tags basically do the same thing. They don't have a huge impact, but at least it can tell the crawlers, the spiders from the search engine that are actually looking through all the videos, exactly what the video is about with additional information that is already supported by the title, the description, and the thumbnail which are definitely more important much so more when important. we are optimizing our videos we are going in and making sure that the keywords appear everywhere everywhere they need to if we are saying this is an instagram growth video you better believe it's going to be in the <laughs> title you're going to better believe that's going to be in that description it's going to be on the thumbnail and then of course the tags but youtube even tells you that the tags just are helping but they're not like the be all and end all of search for you Correct. So it's just good to know what the differences are. And they are actually just getting the act of getting the tags helps you determine some of the keywords for your video as well, which we're going to get into in the next part. So let's talk about how keywords actually work and the reason why they're so important. So these keywords, when you think about YouTube, YouTube is a search engine, right? And it is only second to the number one search engine, which is Google. And Google is the parent company, technically Correct. Alphabet now. Yeah. But Either way, it's a search engine and you want to make sure that you're optimizing your content for search. So when you have these keyword rich descriptions, titles and thumbnails, what that does is allow the algorithm and the crawlers in the algorithm to understand what your video is about. So that way, when a user goes onto the platform and they're searching for something, your video comes up. And that has been a really big driver for us is that search. It's that we are appearing in search closer to the top when someone looks for something. And that's because YouTube is very clear on what we are doing and what our video is about. The other way that these keywords are really beneficial to you, they're beneficial in many ways, but the two main focuses as well is when we're looking at external searches. So another huge driver for us is the external search. It was actually one of our top drivers. It drove about probably 20,000 extra views for us last month. And that's because Google owns YouTube and is also using those keywords to be like, okay, this video is about this. Let's drive views to this video, which is amazing. And Can we that, just clarify what external search is for people who may not and know. And when we're talking about external search, that means somebody goes onto Google and looks up how to talk to Meta, for example, and we would pop up because we have optimized our YouTube video and YouTube pulls videos into search. Both their shorts 
and the long form videos too, which is yes. really, really awesome. And then another part of the keywords that is super important is suggested. So we've talked about search, which is our top ranking. We've talked about external, which is also drives a lot of views for us as well. And then we're talking about suggested, which is also just considered recommended videos. So that means because you've optimized your videos to be very clear on what you are. And of course, it's very important that your video keywords match what your actual video is about. So you're mm. not throwing people off and, and they're clicking off your video yes. because if they're clicking off your video, then that's going to be a signal to the algorithm that something's a, there's a disconnect here and it's not going to help you. It obviously needs to match and you don't want to bait and switch your audience. So that's very, very no, key. Not a good idea. But suggested videos are those are the videos that you see that come up on the right hand side or that show up after a video that uh, someone has already watched. So keywords are so essential to helping you show up in these areas so that you can drive views for yourself. So now that we've talked about the importance of keywords, how they work and how we found success with them, Craig is going to head over to the laptop and show you technically our, it's not a secret tool. It's available and you probably know it and you might just not be using it. Mm. And it has been so huge for us in this YouTube journey. And that is TubeBuddy and specifically hey. Tube Buddies feature, which is called Keyword Explorer. So let Craig uh, jump on that laptop and show you how to use it. Let's go. All right, so now it's time to take a closer look at Tube Buddies Keyword Explorer tool. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna head over to your YouTube page and on the top right, you're gonna see the little TB Tube Buddy sign with the uh, three little hamburger lines right there. You're gonna click that that's gonna bring down the actual TubeBuddy interface. And on the right hand side, you're gonna to wanna to hit Keyword Explorer. So that's the tool that we're really going to get into right now. So the main page of the Keyword Explorer shows you some of the trending keywords or topics in a particular region at that time. So for example, if I go up, I'll select Canada because that is where we are and it's gonna change. So right now there's some soccer stuff, Tom Cruise, Barack Obama, uh, Lotto Max, et cetera, a bunch of different things. So this is like giving you an idea of what's popular, what people are watching the most on YouTube at the time that you're logged in. This can be helpful when you're thinking about maybe looking for a topic. Now, if you already have a niche, it's probably not gonna be that valuable, but say if you maybe a more general channel where you just talk about kind of popular things, this could be a really good way to kind of tap in to what your audience is actually looking for at that moment in that region. So next you're gonna actually type a keyword in that you want to search for that you're thinking about doing a video on just to see, you know, what what the chances are of making that video, are people searching for it, you know, what the real deal is. So for this example, I'll just do Instagram Reels Mistakes. And then you're gonna hit explore. Now, when you're thinking of the keyword to actually search for, so Instagram Reels Mistakes is drilled down. It's specifically about one feature of Instagram and it's the mistakes. So, you know, if you just put Instagram, you're gonna really not get a lot of helpful information. It's way too broad. It's not going to give you anything that is gonna be able to guide you into sort of which direction you're going. Cause there's so many different things that would have the word Instagram in a video title beyond say, for example, for us, we're running with social media. There's gonna be so many people who aren't even talking about social media and has uh, Instagram in the title of their video or the descriptions. So start a little broader. So Instagram Reels and Mistakes seems broad enough for us to be able to get some valuable information about it, but also it's not so niche that you know, there's not really gonna be any data at all. So it feels like a good place to start. And then if I don't feel comfortable with the results, then we can start again. Now, alternatively, instead of going directly into TubeBuddy and then Keyword Explorer, you can just go to the YouTube homepage, into the search bar, type in your search, and then the Search Explorer will come up on the right-hand side of the screen. That's essentially the exact same information that you're gonna get in the Keyword Explorer, just a different way of getting there. So there's a few sections of Keyword Explorer. I'm just gonna go over each one here, just so you know what they mean. So the first section here, overall score. So what this particular one is at 50 out of 100 it says it's good which is you know not bad you'd probably want it to be a little higher but it's like okay you know some people are using it 
it's a little bit popular, there might be some opportunities there. This particular section isn't the most important to pay attention to, right below it, they have much more drilled down information. So that's just a snapshot, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. So the score analysis, this is what we're talking about here. So the first section is search volume. So, you know, you're gonna want, this one here is very good, which actually is kind of perfect. So it's not too popular that you've got no chance of standing out, but there's also, you know, people actually looking for it. It's not completely dead and they've got hardly anybody searching. Super key. Then you've got competition. So same type of thing. This tells you specifically, not just who's searching for it, but how many other videos are made about that topic. So right here, it's under fair. It's kind of about the middle-ish, a little below actually. So this means there isn't a ton of competition. There's some, which means there's some people actually making the videos, but there's not that much. So to me, this looks like a pretty good weight of like a decent amount of search volume and not that much competition. Optimization strength is how many other videos use those exact same word combinations in that order. So Instagram, Reels, Mistakes. This one is excellent, so it's quite high, which most likely means that other creators are making videos using that term and people are searching for it, which means that term, Instagram Reels Mistakes, that phrase are a series of keywords that actually could generate some good search traffic for us and therefore it would be worth pursuing this. Then you've got the number of videos in the search results, 28.3 million, that's quite a lot, but I don't know how much of a, an effect it has here. Number of monthly searches, and this one's insufficient data, which probably means it's not that many. And then our videos versus top ranked videos. This gives you just an idea of what you know other videos that you've done on this topic and how they perform in compared to sort of the rest of the market using these keywords. So if you go to the top right of the results here, you've got interest over time for YouTube and for Google just based on search results. So this one right here doesn't have enough data to give any particular information over 30 days and over 12 months, it says the same thing. So that means there's really not a ton, but we are aware it's kind of a, a niche-ish topic. Same on Google. So there's really not that much information. If you hit over to video topics, so the video topics tab gives you some other keywords and something similar at least that other videos are currently using, whether it's, th these are a lot of titles and other tags that they're using. So they, they could actually give you another way to move. So if you're not really generating good results with this Instagram Reels mistakes is not too bad right now. If you're not loving that, here's a, basically these are other like complete video title ideas and topic ideas. So this is actually a really handy section. And then you've got common tags. So just on the tags, as opposed to the topics, these are just tags that other videos with Instagram Reels mistakes are using, which allows you really like a, a great opportunity to create your 500 characters worth of tags using some of these in whatever order makes sense for you. All right, so that's the summary tab. Now, if you go back and you tap results, this is actually gonna give you a, a search results from YouTube. So, you know, earlier I mentioned one way to get to TubeBuddy is to just go to the search results and then you tap, you see the thing on the side and you can engage with it. This actually gives you that same result anyway. So it tells you the top ranking in search. So looking at our channel, we have three of the top 20 search results for Instagram Reels Mistakes, which is very cool. And then it tells you again, uh, because I have, obviously that's a channel that I'm running and I am logged in as high season. So it still says that. Now in the top results that it has here, there's only six matches for Instagram Reels mistakes, which is interesting. And then of course that 28 million search results. So we have three different videos in this uh, top, which is pretty cool. And that gives us an idea that obviously we've used this topic in the past. Now, not all of these are exact matches. So if it's highlighted in a bright yellow, that means it's the exact keyword match, Instagram Reels mistakes. If it's a lighter yellow, that means it's got the word Instagram Reels or mistakes in any combination. So some of our videos, we have one here, why your Instagram Reels aren't getting reach, Instagram Reels mistakes. So the words Instagram Reels in the first part are highlighted in the light yellow, then obviously the dark yellow at the end. So at least you get a bit more of an idea of who, you know, the other creators really, who are making those videos and what sort of topics they're using, using that keyword search in the title of the video. So it's super helpful, just a really good guide to let you know what the competition is, what the search volume is, and really what your chances are of making a successful video and actually getting some traction, reach, engagement, on your video on this particular topic. So once you've reviewed everything, all the things we just spoke about, you can look at the results. You can be like, well, do I wanna move forward with Instagram Reels mistakes? You might find that, you know what? I think I can make this better. And then you can use some of those tags, some of those other video titles, and just sort of like craft a different set of keywords and continue to search until you find the one that's really 
going to work for you. And then you can borrow those other tags, you know, craft a video title that's unique, that might have some elements that others are using to be able to rank in search because people are actually using that order of words to find videos and just to really guide you through this whole process. And when you're looking for tags, you can take them obviously from TubeBuddy there, but you could also look at some of those other videos in that search results in that top 20 and see those tags using TubeBuddy on the side of the screen. You can actually rip some of their tags. That's what we often do. would find other videos that had used those keywords, take them and then combine it into the ones that make sense for us. There is no point copying exactly what somebody else did. It doesn't work. So we would just craft our own by sort of pulling all the different keywords together, seeing what other people are using and knowing what we would like to say in the video. So, so everything that we're doing ends up being unique. It's just our video. We're not copying anybody directly, but taking inspiration from a bunch. And that's what we would highly recommend that you do. Copying another video, as I said, isn't really gonna get you too far. So that is how you use the Keyword Explorer on TubeBuddy. Alrighty, so I hope that gave you guys a bit more of an understanding on how you can use TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer tool to really get down into the data and find the best keywords for your videos. Now, while that is definitely our favorite feature of TubeBuddy, don't get it twisted. There are a whole bunch of other things that TubeBuddy can do, particularly if you're on one of their paid plans. So there are two features that we particularly like and Unfortunately, we recently did videos on them. Yeah. So the first is called Suggested Shorts and you can watch that video up here. Now that is where they have AI and it analyzes your videos and it gives you exact timestamps for areas where the AI predicts would make a great short form, YouTube short, Reel, TikTok, etc. Super cool, great idea. Now it doesn't cut it for you, but it gives you all the timestamps. So you can go and review that and, and tidy it up if need be. But it's such a, a simple way to sort of like get someone to pre, you know, preview your whole video, find the timestamps, and then you're able to cut it accordingly. Very, very cool feature. Love that, especially because shorts is just so huge right now and it's really, really, YouTube's really pushing it. Yeah. So it's a really important part, honestly, for our strategy. There's even a video that we have planned about how YouTube shorts have driven views for our channel and driven subs so that tool i think just came at such a perfect time and then another one that we like to use is the thumbnail analyzer which we also did a video on which you can check up up here but what it does is just that it analyzes your thumbnails to determine which ones would be the most likely to get those clicks because you know you want to optimize for clicks as well these are just like even two of all the things uh so many yeah, things. title generators there's so many options that you SEO. can have seo there's so many options i love Love that uh, another thing is like stalking, which I really like to do. I go to people's YouTube videos and I stalk and look at what keywords they're using, yeah. you know, and what their SEO is looking like. So that way, you know, we can, you know, get inspired for when we're making our videos. You don't copy, yep. you inspire That's as all said. good art. I said it. All good that. art. There you go. Exactly. There you go. Look at that. Great minds. Um, know. Yeah, we didn't even, didn't even, we didn't even plan that. So there you go. All right, y'all. So that is it. If you are interested in TubeBuddy, definitely click the link below to install that. You can install it for free. And then they also have incredible paid plans as well. We started off for a long journey using the free plan. Mm -hmm. That's how fantastic it is. So we definitely recommend that you just download it, check it out, or really install it and check it out. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe below, and definitely recommend that you check out this playlist next full of YouTube tips to help you grow. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.